Hey, welcome back to Guitar Discoveries. Happy Valentine's Day on this very rainy day here in the Bay Area. I thought I'd talk about three things I love. One of them, most important, my wife, Barra Waters. She and I have been together now for over 25 years, through thick and thin. We have two kids together, amazing kids. They're all you know, grown up, one's in college, one's doing music, amazing music stuff. Life together has been just incredible. And she's been the inspiration behind some of my best songs, the best original songs I've written. I wanna give you 10,000 flowers. I wanna love you hours and still want to give her 10,000 flowers every day. Second thing I love, the duo that she and I sing in together. It's called Cosmic Spin. We've been singing around the Bay Area for a number of years and the two of us both sing. I play guitar and she runs all the effects. And that is a pretty important role because in our duo we use backing tracks to provide bass and some backbeat and things like that. And then we have effects, mostly vocal effects, harmonies, crazy equalizers, delays, things like that. And she runs what is effectively a pedal board uh, made up of a couple of TC Helicon units, which I will do some guitar discoveries about them in the future. But uh, she runs those and is the button pusher throughout our gigs. The third thing I want to focus in on that I love is an app. It's an iOS app called Onsong. Now, a lot of people want to liberate themselves from big music books and things, especially cover bands and things like that who have a large repertoire and, and need to remember all that stuff, all the chords, all the lyrics, everything else, and they don't want to mess up. The thing that's so cool, when you move your music from a book over to an iPad, it liberates you in a lot of ways. For one thing, an iPad's a heck of a lot smaller than any notebook I know of. Uh, the second thing is it gives you flexibility to pull your lyric sheets from the web, modify them how you want to, make notes, do whatever you want, and have it all be in an electronic form. So if you want to change it at any point in time, you can. I've looked at a number of the apps that are used for this purpose, and I think now, gosh, it has to be four or five years ago, I came upon Onsong. I had checked all the different apps out, and Onsong was the one that had the most features, and in particular, it had a feature that I absolutely need, or we absolutely needed, which was that it could, you could load a backup track, a song, uh, instrumental tracks, and you could have Onsong trigger that track, and you could have Onsong automatically scroll your lyrics and you could scroll them at whatever speed, speed you needed to to automate that process. So the great thing about this app is that it lets you catalog all your songs, it lets you put them into sets, it lets you duplicate them and modify them to create a new set very quickly based on another set that you know worked really well, for example. It's just a really cool and very efficient way to work. Now, a key element that we use all the time is something called console. This allows you not to just make your edits on the iPad itself, which is a little bit clumsy. Uh, it allows you to then make edits on the computer. So you essentially are connecting your computer and the iPad directly uh, through a, a browser a URL. And then you can be editing on your larger computer screen. You can be modifying all kinds of things. You can change keys if you want to. You can modify your fonts. You got a lot of choices of what to do. Now, it's not perfect. I don't want to make it sound super easy. It will, there's a learning curve and it will take a little while before you're comfortable using your computer to do the edits. But once you get there, you'll be happy you did because now you'll have everything set up exactly the way you want. We use Onsong, as I said, to trigger the tracks and play the tracks, but also then to have all of the notes that we have. What settings are we using on a given song? If we had to remember all the settings, it would be crazy. So let's, for example, let's look at a song. 
Here's Space Oddity, our version of Space Oddity by David Bowie. If you take a look right at the top, you'll notice it has 5A, on, switches to 5B, 6, hoochie, 4, brick wall, hit, on, 18, twin reverb, treble. Okay, so what is all that stuff at the top? Those are our notes to ourselves to how to set up for that song. We have a TC Helicon Harmony GXT. That's going to be set on 5A. The, the button's going to be pushed to on, but then we know, Bara knows, that she's going to be switching to 5B somewhere during the song, and then she'll wait, and she, when she sees that cue, she'll switch to 5B. The second reference that's in the fuchsia color is for our Voice Live Play GTX. Don't you love TC Helicon? GXT and GTX, love it. Uh, so the Voice Live Play now is going to be set to the Hoochie preset, and somewhere in the song, she's going to be switching it to the number four preset brick wall. Now, we've made some modifications to those, but those are already built into those presets. And she's going to use the hit button to add additional effects. So that gives you some sense of what the vocal boxes are doing. I, meanwhile, have a guitar pedal that is set to a twin, twin reverb setting. And then treble is simply the indication to me that on my Heritage uh, H575, I'm going to have it at treble, treble position. So all that stuff right there, all of our settings. And that's before we even start singing the song. <laughs> so over on the far lower right, there's a play button. And when you hit that, it starts to actually play the song. The song playback begins. And then right below that is a little arrow. That arrow begins the scrolling process. So we integrate the iPad right into the, the pedal board that sits up on a podium, like a stand that Barra uses. People don't really seem to notice it. They're certainly not bothered by the fact that we have that iPad up there. It's no different than DJs who are using laptops or whatever. I mean, this has just become part of what we're all used to seeing up on stage. It sits in between us. I make sure that it's at an angle so as I look down the guitar neck, I'm looking over at the iPad. That's a really natural motion and again the audience doesn't really think about the fact that I might be looking at that because they think I'm looking at my hand on the guitar which is a very natural uh, thing that nearly every guitarist does, right? It's a substitute for your ailing memory which becomes more and more important to me as I get older. So fantastic thing that I love on song. It's an app very inexpensive in the App Store. Here's your pricing you really can't beat it. You can add the console for an additional price and that allows you to do all the editing I talked about. If you are still stuck with a notebook that you carry around, get rid of it and move to an iPad. You'll be so happy you did. Yes, it'll take some time to set up. Yes, there's a learning curve. You will get through it and once you're done, you'll be so happy to have this nice little device with you when you go places and, and you'll just, you'll love it. 
Happy Valentine's Day. Please subscribe. I love to share tips, tricks, axes, cool equipment, ideas like this, things that can really help you be a better musician, a more functional musician, uh, better on stage, better in the studio. Love y'all.